This week, the number of new stalls increased from previous weeks a little bit to 383, bringing the total to 52,958. And I do want to point out the whole reason that I've been doing these updates is really my personal interest in the increase in DC fast chargers has been advertised there's a lot of news releases of people installing new dc fast chargers and i was assuming at some point we we're just going to see an explosion of dc fast chargers getting installed all over the place there's a lot of press releases and uh, news announcements and things but the actual numbers are not showing any explosion it really it's the same usual suspects tesla leading the um charge uh, charge point showing up and then a mixed bag of other CPOs occasionally doing fits and starts of increases, which is a little discouraging because it's 2024 and 2030 is looming and the number of press releases we've had about TC Fast Charger builds is pretty extensive and there's just been a lot of stalling out like Walmart. There's been absolutely nothing going on. They've been living, living with their two stations now for about six months. Racetrack has basically stalled out. They had a flash in the pan announcement where they opened a bunch of them and then nothing later. Uh, Circle K, I do know they're opening station. They're just not adding them to uh, this database. Uh, once they do, we'll be able to see it. And they do so like once a month or once every two months. So we'll see that. Um, so it's a little bit discouraging. I have to be honest, but we're going to trudge along here and maybe um, our fate will change a little bit and uh, all the promised DC fast chargers that you see in the news will actually start to materialize. Pilot Flying J added one station, Tesla added 11. They had a very good week. ChargePoint also had a very good week with 29. EV Connect had seven. The Rivian Adventure Network added two, plus one that got a lot of press in uh, California. I'll show what that looks like in a second. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First one is Pilot Flying J. They actually added more than one, but the other one is not in the database. But the new one is Peculiar Missouri. This one has been sitting out there, basically built uh, for probably four months, something like that. And it did finally get commissioned. So that is open for business. The next one is Tesla. As I mentioned, they had a very good week, specifically in the state of California. So this is a site for sore eyes there. Uh, five out of the 11 are in the state of California, including a 20 stall in Gardenia. So Tesla is definitely back on their game. The next one is ChargePoint. And right here, that's kind of interesting, the town of Peabody, Massachusetts. And let's take a look what that looked like. No, it's this one here. It's kind of a small town north of Boston, kind of near the coast. If we zoom out a little bit, you can see the coast is over here. So it's kind of nestled in um, close to the coast northeast of Boston. And three parking lots. Got new charge point hardware. Huh, there's no pictures at these. Yeah, there's one. It looks like they've got another station getting ready to be commissioned at the courthouse. So a total of eight new charge point CP 250s in Peabody, Massachusetts. Dawson Creek, British Columbia has a three stall charge point probably what's going on here i looked it up is that it's not charge point hardware but charge point is just providing back-end uh, services for somebody else's hardware they do do that on occasion the next one is ev connect and if uh, you're a frequent watcher of the channel you've uh You'll remember that Kissimmee, Florida, for some reason, every week is getting a new EV Connect uh, 
charger. And here again, Cedar Plaza. And I looked this one up also. This is on that 192. Um, Kissimmee is very famous for having this uh, road near Walt Disney World called 192, uh, where there's a lot of um, touristy ho hotels and motels. That's their claim to fame. And further on down near the Turnpike is the Cedar Plaza. So someone is going through and installing DC Fast Chargers in Kissimmee, Florida. Kudos to them. The next one is the Rivian Adventure Network. They installed two stations. One in Idaho and Groveland, California. This got a lot of press just because of the kind of eclectic design they chose to do. And here's the floor plan. See charging stalls. And I'm not quite sure why news media latched onto this station. I guess because it looks nice as a place to go in. Apparently you could buy some merchandise or some snacks in there. And um, it's close to Yosemite. So there's a rendering of it. And there is one honorable mention. Um, I was going through and I was looking at all the uh, chargers that were installed the last 200. And this one for sure popped out. And let me just clean this up just a little bit and I'll tell the story of what's going on here. So Red E is based in Michigan, and last week they had 30 stations, and I've been keeping my eye on them. I was waiting for something to happen with Red E, and sure enough, it did. They entered a bunch of stations, and if you look at the open dates, there's no way they opened all these just in the past, um, in two days. It says... July 15th through July 17th, they opened all these. So what they did is they just got around to entering the new stations into the Alternative Fuels Data Center database um, over those two days. And there's just a ton of them. Let's kind of break this down a little bit. No, it's a little bit higher. Um, so it starts there. But let me just go to the very top because Red E is not a CPO that I had mentioned at all, but I have been keeping my eye on them. But they were stuck at May with 30 stations and I thought well they're probably not doing anything but they were doing stuff they were just not entering into the database which is very common that's what 7-Eleven and Circle K do as well they go about their business then at, periodically they do a mass update of the database so as I said they're based in Michigan so you'll see a lot of Michigans here uh, but they are starting to spread out into other areas um, Kentucky, New York. I didn't know they were in New York. That's interesting. Um, Georgia. I'm going to have to take a look at these. It's not too far from where I live. Let's see if there's any North Carolina. I'm assuming not. I would have heard of them if they were. And here's a ton more in Michigan. And Ready might just be providing back-end services. I'm not quite sure because this all this data just showed up, you know, came to my attention a few moments ago. So I'm going to take a deep dive into Red E to see what's going on here, but there are a ton of stations. As you can see, very heavily presenced in the state of Michigan. So kudos to Red E for building out uh, Motown and the surrounding areas that are Michigan. I understand they're also going up into the up peninsula of Michigan, which is pretty slim pickings as far as DC fast chargers go. But anyway, that's the update for this week. Thank you very much for watching.